When you're trying to persuade or motivate an audience to take action, should you push them or pull them? Well, it's an interesting question, and there's no right answer to it. Before sharing some ideas with you, let me explain what I mean by push-pull. This is a concept I got from one of my coaches. And what he taught me was that when you're sharing a foundational phrase or a supporting point to that phrase, you're trying to motivate your audience and you can pull them in the direction of a benefit or you can push them away from a loss they might experience if they don't take action. Either one can be effective. You have to decide through testing which one works best. For example, I'm developing a course, an online course, entitled How to Become a Speaker Everyone Wants to Hear. I can support that with pull statements such as invest in this course and you can increase your confidence. You can become seen as an expert in your field. You can create more opportunities. You can save time and make more money. Those are pull statements. I can push by talking about what you'll lose if you don't invest in the course. You'll take more time, frustration, and energy through trial and error. You may not gain the confidence that you need to stand on stage and be seen as an expert and as someone everyone wants to hear. And you could miss out on opportunities because you won't stand out from the crowd. That, those are push statements. Fact is, and this is scientifically proven, that people are more motivated by the fear of loss than they are of gain. So we have to use those statements sometimes that create the, what will you miss out on? Now, you don't want to be a fear monger from stage. And most importantly, whatever idea you're trying to sell to them, it has to be for their ultimate benefit. So that's the push-pull concept. Use statements that will both show benefit to the, the listener or the reader, or show them what they'll miss out on. Do this, and your foundational phrases and supporting points will have more impact. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.